Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It's Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 176. There's a fair amount going on today. We are going to buy ourselves a new player. We are going to finish off the weekend league. We're going to do some upgrade packs. We're going to complete a shapeshifter SBC. So lots of stuff to get our teeth stuck into. If you do enjoy, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. We are aiming for 2,000 likes today. If you can make that happen, you'll make last these day. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click the little notification bell. All of that good stuff. It means that you'll never miss an upload. And uh, I can heart your little comment in the in the comment section below when you tell me you're in the Noti gang. So obviously you saw in the end of the last episode that Iconi sold, uh, so did Sanson, so did Cavani, um, and we're up to 261k, which was a tiny bit shy of what I needed, I think, to buy my new player. So I went through my club and discarded some of my tradable, non-rare golds that I thought weren't really ever worth anything, so like super off leagues and stuff, um, maybe the only one that was... A little bit dubious would be the Argentine. Sometimes they're worth a little bit. But uh, I just needed to get up to about 270,000 coins. And we were able to get there in the end um, just by getting rid of a few players. And I had some things on the on the market that were still yet to sell. Um, but, you know, they'll, they'll sell over time and they'll just increase our balance after that. So the new player I want to buy is actually from the Prem. It's not from the Ligue 1. Uh, I know you guys guess a lot of the time the the either the Algerian players. It was going to be Mares or it was going to be Atal. Uh, like I've mentioned, we are short of coins for Atal, even though I would love to try him out. Um, so Mares is the play. So I actually managed to get him in the position that I kind of wanted and needed him in, which was uh, moving him down to a CDM. And we got him for pretty cheap, you know, just 250, 260k, something like that. So so uh, it was a good price in my opinion and he, I'm very interested to try him out. Obviously we've got a red 87 Mares I think in the club. Um, but when you start bringing that into the team, playing him off chemistry and stuff, uh, then he's really going to perform like an 85 and there's an 89 out on the market that we could just buy and try out and get 10 chem on. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today. Um, decided that... I would actually switch it. I could play in the 4-3-3-4, but I was going to play in the 4-3-3-3 like this. Uh, and then I could just bring that Mares in at CDM anyway. Like, either way, if I played it in the 3 or the 4, uh, both Awa and Mbappe would be out of position. So I would have to give them a position modifier anyway. Or I don't actually need to because I have a French manager. And you'll see, I don't actually end up giving them the position modifier that they need. They are on 10 chem anyway. Um, but it does bug me a little bit. I, I, I guess I just don't like to see the players with the uh, that are slightly out of position. I like to, them to be in the per perfect position modifier. Um, so maybe at some point we'll, we'll end up just adjusting them just for my own sanity. Uh, however, if we left them as they are right now, and let's say in a week's time we had enough coins to sell Mares to bring Atal in, then we would change back to that 4-5-1 and I wouldn't necessarily have wanted to bring Mbappe and Awa down because then I'd have to move them back up again if we move back to the 4 5 ones, if you get me. Um, however, we have made Renato Sanchez a striker in order to for this formation to work uh, so as you know it will play four triple two the only change that will actually be made is that Mares will be playing as the left cam uh, simply replacing Ikone uh, it, literally as simple as that uh, and I wanted to give him a shot we're already back up to nearly 20,000 coins again as Onana sells and uh, there's a couple high rated players selling there and uh, we need to, we just need to get these final three rent these final three wins right so we're sat there on 11 and 8. Probably, like when I was at 10 and 8, I think that's the closest I've ever been to myself, wins and losses wise, in one of the worst weekend league performances ever. Um, we come up against a, a red Aguero and a red Ben Yedda right off the rip, and I'm like, Jesus. Uh, this is, a, a, once again, like a team that I, I think I need to be a little bit worried about as we go into the match. Uh, and, you know, we give Mares a shot in his first game, hoping that he can do do some damage for us, essentially, uh, and see if he's any better than Ikoni, because, uh, you know, he was actually a quite a good little player, but I think the added five-star skills and, like, the way he's going to dribble and stuff, I'm actually quite excited about it. Uh, so both teams, as you can see, are actually having a few chances. Mbappe finally gets himself sort of into the box, and I could notice that the defenders were sort of holding off me, so I just got into the space where I thought it wasn't going to get AI blocked. 
took the shot at the near post, goes in off the post, and we find ourselves 1-0 up. Awa then knocks it into Neymar, scoops round that defender, but just wide of the post. I guess that's what's going to happen if you take a shot on the angle, kind of running. Uh, you can ex always expect that one to, to not quite go in. But that went in though, didn't it? What a ball from uh, from Bernardo Silva. Absolute baller. Um, that, that was, yeah, literally a, a fantastic ball in from the Portuguese. Uh, and Neymar is able to slot that one home because he is he is the GOAT on FIFA for me. And uh, that's exactly what he does. However, we push forward into, uh, into the start of the second half. And my opponent nearly scored with a lovely whippy from Hyung Min Sun. I think my goalkeeper actually just got a touch to it. Um, but as you can see, just towards the end of the game, Ryan Kent actually knocks it, knocks it through to a flowing Riyad Mahrez. And I could just dink it over the goalkeeper for... For him to get his first goal for the club and what's that on his debut perfect start for him uh, i actually really like the way that he was moving around on the ball as well as you can see late game he does get a little bit tired obviously that stamina is maybe not uh not absolutely incredible but um i think an improvement on Iconi right off the off the get-go so we'll see as we go on further through the rest of these few games so that led us to, to getting a 3-0 victory Bringing us up to 12 and 8. So that's 20 games of the weekend league played now. Uh, and we go into game number 21. Uh, and we come up against this. It's a Serie A squad. A couple of headliners in there that have been boosted nicely. And uh, and then of course, there's, of course there's a primey in right there. there. We've got that Lautaro Martinez who we know is... All right, because we've got him in, in our club as well, but he's not absolutely fantastic. Um, and I just kind of was falling asleep right at the start of this game. Like even I had, I had kickoff, and I'm one nil down after three FIFA minutes. So I don't know what I was doing. Maybe a little bit distracted, but um, hey, we push on through. And uh, and once I got this equalising goal after 12 minutes, I just knew I was going to win this game um, because actually he wasn't. He wasn't all that, um, you know, even though I conceded after three minutes. It, it wasn't a case of I was up against someone who was going to batter me. Uh, it was just a case of I was half asleep, I think. Um, so, you know, 18 minutes on the clock, we've turned the game around. That's a lovely little dink from... Bernardo Silva, a nice little chip over the goalkeeper to score the goal. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see here, Mbappe doing doing some great work with a few di different skill moves and stuff uh, to earn himself the space to not get AI blocked to take the strike and to, for it to go in the back of the net. Uh, and what you'll notice about this guy is that this is one of the first people I've played that I feel like isn't on drop back one depth. Or maybe is playing on balanced or, you know, it just doesn't have that one depth about them. Uh, it's super rare to come across that now in the weekend league. I think that's one area of the game that I hinder myself on. Like, I play balanced, balanced, four depth, four width. Um, which is, I think, uh, probably above average at this stage of the game for, for what most people play. Uh, it's It's... It's not like completely sat back or anything. I don't tend to ever really play overload ball side. I'll switch it on every now and again, but I don't know how to use it. So uh, I, I think if it, more than anything, it hinders me. But there are some people out there that just it, it completely and utterly, or, or you know, we've, we've come up against it multiple times. If you are a drop back one depth, super low width, overload ball side, uh, you know that what that can do for you defensively. And I'm sure it would help me defensively. Um, but I'm just not all about that. I just I don't want to get on that train because as soon as I do, then that will be me for the rest of the year, just doing exactly what everyone else does. Uh, and as long as I can hold it off, the, the better. Whether or not there comes a point where I have to just join, you know, if you can't beat him, join him type thing. I hope that doesn't become the case because uh, I I kind I like to try and promote the more free flowing football. And uh, we end up winning 6-2 here. It was a great result. And we actually scored a few goals with, with Mares as well. He's a, he's a solid player. I'm really enjoying him um, from the first couple of games of using him. So, you know, obviously we're, we've woken up and played these games on the Monday. And we've actually got fingers today. Like the, I think the last couple of days I've been playing without fingers or something. Because some of the results that we've been coming away with. Um, but you can see we've been scoring goals. Making people quit. Uh, you know, literally getting six goals in the last game. That doesn't normally happen to me towards the end of the weekend league. Mares scores first again. Three minutes on the clock. And I didn't have kickoff. Um, so we've, able, we've been able to get the ball. 
get up that other end of the pitch and score with our new player. His finishing, his finesse shot, his dribbling, his skills, all of that seemed fantastic. Really pleased with him so far. Um, I'm sure you can probably tell from how much we're talking about him. But uh, yeah, we get for again with the Algerian and uh, and just take the strike, but it's going to get blocked. Mbappe is going to get blocked. Goalkeeper's going to just about get to it. But I've got a feeling... Uh, we end up getting another goal here soon. Yeah, Neymar drops it to Mbappe. Can we score from this one? I can't remember. Is it? Not? Yeah, we does. We knocks it, knocks it all the way across the back post, and Neymar just taps it in. So them two obviously been linking up perfectly all weekend. As I said, I don't think my attacking has really been the issue. It's more been my defence. Um, and David Luiz le leaves his legs wide open there. And then the ball goes through them for Ben Yedda to go through. It's always a, a Ben Yedda thing. He always scores. As you can see here. If you remember when I was talking about yesterday. You come up against Ben Yedda. And somehow he always gets that 50-50. Even against a stronger defender. It just happened right there. But fortunately, we were able to keep him at bay. Um, and, and be 3-1 up at half time. But uh, I think the goal that he got wasn't particularly amazing. I felt like there were more goals in it for us. Uh, and as long as we win this one, we're going to come away with uh, our 14th win. So Bernardo Silva ends up like absolutely whipping it into the roof of the net um, with a lovely finesse shot to put me 4-1 up. Uh, and that's probably game at that point, right? Even if he goes ultra attacking and stuff and maybe gets a couple of goals, I should be able to hit him on the break from that. Uh, and I'm not sure whether or not that's what he did to try and get back in the game. Uh, but I did find myself <laughs> kind of unleashing and scoring another couple goals um, or one or two goals. I can't remember what it is uh yeah, he makes a huge mistake there and neymar is able to just heel click past the defender and chip it over the keeper um to put me up 5-1 and then i think we're going to score a final goal in the weekend league for mares to get his hat trick in this game and his sixth goal in in three games um so what a start from him uh yeah absolutely pounded that one into the back of the net Lovely goal. You know, obviously we couldn't do that necessarily with Iconi just because that that uh, that Magidi spin would have been a Berber spin. So it would have been a bit slower. Maybe it would have been a little bit more lethargic. I think I actually really rate the five-star skillers this year. That's why I get on so well with Neymar and Mbappe. Um, so there you go. 14 wins achieved. Uh, it wasn't pretty. It was 14 and 8. But hey, sometimes we've ended up going like 8 and 0, 10 and 0, and then still losing eight games towards in the back end. So... Uh, we, we At least we finished strong, right? With four wins in a row towards the end there and scoring lots of goals. 71 goals scored in the 22 games we played this weekend, by the way. Uh, that is an awful lot. Obviously, that's helped out a lot in the last couple of games. We scored 12 goals in two games. We scored 12 goals in one game right at the start of the weekend league, didn't we? So, uh, yeah, it's been a high-scoring weekend. I'll open up my little Excel document for you guys as well so I can tell you uh who got who got what in terms of the weekend league stats so i'll move that over here um so whilst all some of the upgrade packs and stuff are going on in the background uh this weekend i got four goals five assists from awa not too bad at all uh we got one goal four assists from renato sanchez you know that shows he's a little bit more holding back and i tend to bring him off at half time uh, Bernardo Silva got 9 goals and 11 assists. That's pretty good. 20 contributions in 22 games for a wide cam. Uh, Ikone got 3 goals and 6 assists. And then, of course, we changed him out. So a little bit less input from him. Uh, Mbappe got 18 goals, 18 assists. 36 contributions in... In, in, in 22 games. That's mental. Uh, and then, well, obviously the goated one is Neymar with 27 goals, 13 assists. That's 14 contributions. Uh, 40 contributions, should I, should I say, in 22 games. Madness from the Brazilian. Uh, we got four assists from Ryan Kent, but no goals this week. One goal from Atal. Uh, and then six goals from... Uh, six goals from Mares. You know, literally, he, he doubled Iconi's goal scoring record, um, but he didn't get any assists. And I think that was probably because I was trying to score some goals with him. But for Iconi to play however many games he did this weekend, like 19 games, and, and get uh, uh, nine contributions, we just got six in three games with Mares. So uh, I think positive signs that we've moved on to him. Uh, I feel like maybe there is a chance that we could potentially get. Uh, at Allen over Mares uh, in the coming few days because I think you know with rewards and being able to uh, empty our club a little bit as you'll see towards the end of this episode that we do with some of our tradable stuff I've got plenty of golds that I could still sell in the club as well I think we would have enough coins to bring him in 
Um, but whether or not I actually want to do that is is is, is another question because just uh, how can I how can I insta sell someone that scored six goals in three games from Cam and and, and felt really good on the ball? It's going to be a tough one. It, it might happen, but uh, that's only if uh, if I keep seeing really good things about Atal and we can bring the money together and all of that stuff. So uh, so yeah. Um, so I decided to empty some of the untradeable stuff in my club into these upgrade packs, whether it was just like two rare gold player packs or, uh, or, or you know, doing the odd 81 plus double because I didn't have a huge amount of stuff in order to get them done. Um, it was, yeah, I tried to do my the best I could. And then it was coming down to a case of, can I offload all of the silvers from the League SBC leagues that I've got? And, and that is that is an ongoing process. But a few of them sold right there, as did a few of the golds that um, that I had at the top of my club that were worth a little bit of something. Uh, and I'm up to 56,000 coins again. So uh, if we when we bought Mares, we were about 130k away from Atal. So add 50k onto what he's worth. Take a little bit off for tax, knowing that I can continue to make coins as well. Yeah, we're probably not that far off at all, should we really want to do it. So I'm going to submit these players in for the Gary McKay Steven SBC, simply because uh, I had a couple of days left on my quick sell recovery before it restored itself to five more recoveries. And only a couple of days left to unlock myself, um, my duplicates that, that I got from last weekend's Weekend League rewards. So I had a Ben Yedda that I needed to, to get a duplicate restored from. I had a Davinson Sanchez and a Felipe Anderson. So that's why I went down that route of spending some of my 84s and 85s and specifically those three players in order to make sure that I could just return them to the club. It makes Mackay Steven seem a little bit cheaper. You never know when you're going to need like an MLS striker or something. So he's five-star skiller. He looks quite good. I, I just don't know when I'll ever need him. Uh, and effectively, he's actually cost me like nothing. Uh, only untradeable stuff and stuff that I was going to quick sell recover anyway. So uh, that's pretty good. The only thing is that, you know, if we get a couple good shapeshifters for the, for the end of the promo that cost roughly the same, that maybe I would prefer, I'd be a little bit annoyed that I didn't save my my players for that however like i said i needed to i only had a limited time left to get those quick sell recovery players back in the club i didn't want to waste them because they just go to nothing after a week so uh might as well use them right so neymar sat on 64 goals 35 assists in like 59 games beast man he's a beast uh and yeah like just uh, I, I like the look of the squad um i think it might be time to try and get rid of renato sanchez i don't know how we can really do that. Uh, I mean, obviously, Bernardo Silva's got enough chem now linking off to Mares. So I could just put Mbappe up top and we could bring Ducore back in. I don't know what to do, really, but um, uh, and we haven't got a huge amount to work with. But let me know maybe some suggestions of players that we could play as a CDMCM type player instead of Renato Sanchez that would obviously be better and within our budget. Not much to ask, but hey, uh, if you did enjoy the episode, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. We're aiming for 2,000 likes. Come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Most importantly, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace. <laughs>